This is a tutorial video to show you how to download and use Microsoft Teams on a mobile or tablet. This will allow you to access work from home and to complete coursework and assignments. The apps can be found in the App Store or Google Play Store. Make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi to allow you to download the apps. In the search bar, search for Microsoft Teams and then download the app. The app is free, but will require you to sign in later on. Also, download Microsoft Word, Microsoft Outlook, and finally, Microsoft OneDrive. You can find more uh, Microsoft apps by clicking on the Microsoft Corporation button, such as PowerPoint, Excel. These are Most of these are free using your Glow login. It's best to wait for all of the apps to fully download, because once you log into one app, it should automatically log you into the others. Click on Microsoft Teams, and it should take you to the login screen if not, click on Login as a new user. Enter your Glow username, which is GW, followed by the year, and then your name. Then, followed by the at symbol, glow.sch.uk. The first part, GW20 People Test, is your username and your email is your username plus the at glow.sch.uk. So anytime you're signing in, make sure you notice um, if it asks you for username or email. It will then redirect you to uh, make, uh, Glow to log in, use the same details, and then it will bring you back to the app. It's best to allow notifications because any new assignments added will appear on your phone as a banner notification. Once you've been able to access the Teams um, by logging in, it's best to then check that all the other apps are available and that you're logged in. So return to the main screen and click on Microsoft Word. If you already have the app and you are logged in with a personal account, it's best to log out and log back in with your Glow account. This will allow you to save changes more effectively. If you're already logged in, just simply click your photo icon at the top and log out. You will probably have to um, close the app before signing back in. It will then ask you to sign in again using your GW20 name and then at glow.sch.uk and this time it should take me to the Glow authentication page where again you just re-enter these details. Once logged in, just double check the other apps such as uh, Outlook. Outlook you can actually add more than one account so you don't have to log out any personal email accounts you have. Once you are in Microsoft Outlook, you'll be able to send emails to staff with any questions on assignments or exams. This is done by clicking the new mail button and then searching for the staff member in the to field. OneDrive, again, you can add multiple accounts, but make sure you're logged in on your Glow account so that you can save documents and access them anywhere and from any device. If it doesn't allow you to log in like it's, it does here, please close the app and try again. 
Once they're all logged in, go back to Teams and the first page you'll see is your overall Teams um, updates. This is updates from all the different teams. To access a specific team, click on the Teams button and on this menu, click the general below the team. This will take you to the Teams activity page. This will provide you updates with any um, new assignments or posts from staff and where you may be able to ask questions um, based on the assignment. In here, messages are seen by everyone in the group. However, if you want the person to get a notification, use the app feature and click their name and that recipient will receive a notification. You will also get a notification when the person replies back. Next, we'll look at the files section. So if you go back to your team main page and on the bottom, select the files tab. Here, files will appear that staff have uploaded. You will be able to access the files and uh, save them into your own OneDrive if you wish. The other button is the assignments button. Here, assignments that have been assigned to you will appear. The difference between assignments and files is in assignments, if the staff member assigns an ass a task, it will go to every group member. However, you can only see and edit your own assignment. If the assignments don't appear, check back in a couple of minutes as the teacher may have just uploaded them. Once they are available, this is the screen you will see. Go ahead and click on the attached document and you'll see a preview of the document. You can then use the button at the top right, which will allow you to edit it in Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word on mobile and tablet devices has many of the basic features such as text editing, text formatting, but you may not be able to access some features such as Word Art. You should be able to type straight away onto the document and this will automatically save. To check if autosave is on, click the three dots in the top right hand corner and make sure that the autosave tab is selected so it turns blue. Once you're finished typing, you can use the arrow on the left, pointing left, to go back to the main Teams menu. This will save your work.